It's only August and I'm already thinking about Halloween. <laughs> well, I mean, these I'm like making, my friend has a store, so sometimes I like put some things in the store. This one I think I'm gonna keep because I like this one. Maybe I'll make another one from the store. This isn't Halloween, but like, you know, gotta have different options for everybody. <laughs> I don't know, I'm thinking about maybe making a few of these too to put on Etsy. I don't know if like, I don't know if they're anything anybody wants. Kind of cute, I guess. I posted those guys on Patreon already because I like to do little like sneak peeks of like what I'm working on or like, you know, exclusive stuff there. So if you sign up for Patreon for I think the $3 or more tiers, you get access to all that stuff, so. Think about it if you're interested. It's much appreciated. So it's kind of a you know a cool little perk to kind of if you're interested to see what I'm working on. If I'm not gonna post it on Instagram or on YouTube or something, I don't know. It's cool. It helps me out. Maybe gives you something interesting to look at. Think about it. Since I live in Halloween Town, I'm trying to find a way. I have some zip ties. Whoa. I'm trying to find a way to attach this guy to the front of my bike and then this guy to the back. There we go. I'm gonna have to glue his feet like going up and his head because every time I go over a bump he's gonna be you know so there he is there and then there we go there he is. This one's cute. He's got a posable mouth. Cute. Oh hello. Some of you guys liked my gold pants. Um, sir, excuse me. Now some of you guys like my gold pants. So, what do you think of these? They're just biker shorts, but, oh, there we go. Can you get off the camera, please? But yeah, I had it with like a, ne a neon yellow shirt and I was like, oh my God, they're gonna see me from space, but the shirt didn't fit right for it. So, opted for this. So one of my sons here, Coffee Cake. I don't know if I've ever like actually introduced you guys to him. I know he's been on my channel before. He is the most like loving dog-like cat, but he is so annoying when I'm trying to do work. Here's the chair I usually sit in. Don't mind all the mess and stuff. That's, um... Do you like my pants? He's like kneading them right now. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to disturb you. Just sit there like a good boy, okay? I just got out of the shower, so that's why I look oily and greasy. It's just wet hair. So there's something I wanted to talk to you guys about. Um, I am thinking of, I have been thinking for a long time of taking a little trip. Now, I'm not gonna tell you where. You can guess, I guess, if you want. <laughs> not gonna tell you where because I don't know if it's gonna happen and I don't wanna like, you know, be like, oh, I'm going to this place and I'm gonna bring you guys along and like do all this stuff if I'm not actually end up, end, gonna end up going for several reasons. Um, the main one, actually, let's not talk about the main one yet. So the second, I guess, most important, I don't know, is that it's, it's expensive, you know, and I, because of the first reason, which we'll get into, I kind of waited and I need to like expedite, you know, all of the documents and stuff that I need to travel. So that's more expensive. So I'm kind of like waiting, but as I wait, it's just getting more expensive. So I'm not really helping myself. But yeah, so the main that, I guess that brings us to the main reason. Honestly, my anxiety has just been really bad. It always kind of gets this way, especially, um, you know, if I'm, like I'm going back to China soon. And especially too with like a recent relapse so fresh in my memory, like knowing what it, you know, feels like for those, you know, few days when, you know, I can't eat, can't sleep, like that kind of a thing um, is really scary. And I'm also quite worried about, um, you know, the flight going back because, not because I'm afraid it's gonna crash or anything. I never really worry about that, like when I'm on the plane. My fears are more like, I don't like being trapped and confined in a specific, like, you know, space that I can't get out of. Like, I can't change the scenery. I can't go for a walk. I can't, like, open the window and, like, you know, look out for, like, you know, get fresh air or anything. Like, you can't do that. And it's quite a long time that you're just kind of, like, contained. And I'm making myself really anxious right now talking about it. So, you know, I have all those anxieties and 
like going to a new place um which also honestly if i go would be kind of a long flight just because it's kind of like a roundabout way to get there yeah i don't know i just um i know i always talk about like not letting your anxiety hold you back and i'm not really like practicing what i preach right now i don't know i'm kind of during the tell me if this happens to you guys those of you guys who are blessed with anxiety and potentially ocd tell me if this happens to you like sometimes during the day like when it's bright and sunny and i'm like doing whatever i feel like i'm like yeah it's not that bad like i could totally do all this stuff like as soon as it gets towards that like twilight time like the sun's starting to go down it's starting to get dark starting to get late i'm suddenly like nope 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 and i like get more anxious as the night goes on so i don't know because of that i'm kind of like stuck between like do i miss out on this opportunity i could have you know or do i just you know play it safe and you know i don't know i'm just like it's, it's not not a good feeling it's not ideal i have to like make up my mind soon <laughs> i you know i don't really have a lot of time to just like you know mess around like i have to kind of decide like this week if i'm gonna do it Jake, say hi to your fans. Hi, fans. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so Jake just got this done today. So I used to go back in two weeks for coloring. Yeah. And that's to match with, oh, sorry, that's to match with this. Stabbing me. Sorry. Uh, so this one, so what's it from? Tell this us. This is from Final Fantasy. It's Behemoth. Okay. 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 <laughs> and then this one is Fenrir, which is also from... Not really from Final Fantasy, but he's featured in Final Fantasy. Featured, yeah. That's cool. So did it hurt a lot? No. Coloring well. well. <laughs> yeah, I was. I talked to Katie at the end, yeah. and I'm like, uh, I don't remember, but I think it's. A, I think it's just a week after. She's like, <laughs> Are you sure? She's like, I actually like you, so I'm gonna book it for two weeks. <laughs> she's like, yeah. Someone I hated, yeah, a week later. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah. No, you happy it, with it? All it? Hurt. Yeah, I am happy with it. Cool. Hey guys, it's Friday. So today we went to the aquarium. I'm gonna put in some clips here, just cause I didn't really like talk in any of the clips from the aquarium. So just introduce it. I'll show you here and then we'll come back and there's some stuff that I wanna talk to you about. So enjoy. <laughs> So that was fun. The aquarium was great. I actually, it was the one, it's the one that's like right by Philly. It's in Camden. I had gone two years ago when it was like before they re, you know, revamped it and it was like really sketch, but now it's quite nice. Um, so that's cool. I, I love aquariums. I probably put so many different aquariums in my vlogs over time. Anyway, some stuff I want to talk to you about. I don't know, like I filmed some stuff a couple days ago. I'm not sure how much of it is gonna end up in the vlog because I haven't edited anything yet. And I guess that'll kind of depend on like what I say here, like how much, I, I don't know, whatever. You might remember I was kind of talking about like doing some traveling and feeling kind of like my anxiety is holding me back a little bit, but you guys will be so proud to know I went yesterday to the like visa service that I had to do, dropped off my passport, paid extra to have it ex expedited because I goofed up. A visa is on the way for a destination. So I'll talk 
more about that when it's a little bit more relevant but like we'll have some travel vlogs coming up soon so that's cool that's something that i'm really excited about it's a place that i wanted to go for a long time and i kind of like finally have an opportunity so i'm gonna take it and i'm cutting a lot of corners making it as cheap as possible since the visa was quite expensive but yeah i'm gonna do that yesterday also i posted on you know the community tab that for ocd awareness week this year i think it's october 13th to the 19th I want to make some OCD related content. I don't know if I'm going to do like a video a day or like, you know, a Q&A video or like maybe two videos. I don't know what's going to happen. Depends on how much content um, I, you know, can make and how much you guys want to hear. But that kind of leads me to, you know, what I asked for in the community tab. Just some ideas of like if there's anything specific you'd like to see, if I, you know, if I did a Q&A, what are some questions you would have? I mean, some of the questions could turn into video ideas on their own because they might warrant some pretty, you know, long responses and stuff like that. Um, I'm thinking of maybe doing, in addition to like whatever you guys say, potentially like a part two of like the OCD thoughts video because you guys really like that. And I remembered so many thoughts like as I had been reading through the comments that I'm like, oh my God, I had that too and I forgot. So it's like, you know, been like going to my mind, like more things that I could add to that. But really, I want to recommend if you guys don't know about it, it's the OCD stories podcast. Um, I listened to it here and there. Um, but honestly, it was like one of the things that kind of really encouraged me to actually go and drop my passport off for my visa and stuff. One of the podcasts that I was listening to is talking about like what we would consider a good week. So for someone with anxiety, someone with OCD probably would say like, you know, if you go to your doctor and you say, yeah, I had a good week and the doctor's like, well, what's a good week? You probably would consider a good week a week without like bad intrusive thoughts or a week without terrible anxiety or you know stuff that wasn't like crippling as usual but really that's not what a good week is a good week should be you did whatever you had to do or whatever you planned or whatever you wanted to do despite how you felt like removed yourself from you know feeling really anxious so i tweeted about it too and if you guys don't follow me on twitter you should also do that because i post some stuff um, about OCD and also just about YouTube and like, you know, would love to talk to you guys there because that's just another way for you guys to send questions or like, you know, reach out and let me know what kind of content you'd like to see because that's really what I'm here for. You know, I'm just, I'm just chilling, waiting to hear what you guys want to hear. So, you know, follow me on all my platforms if you want to. Some weeks are really okay you don't have a whole lot of anxiety and you're just like all right I just did my thing and like that's cool and like that's great but really like the weeks that you're just like you know it's struggle struggle to get out of bed struggle to do anything beyond that to go to work to go to school to plan things to see friends to you know do anything but you do it anyway like regardless of how shitty you feel you did it and that's really kind of you know hearing that I was like you know what that's true because I'm thinking about it and I know that if I didn't go through with this trip or didn't at least try to plan it, I don't know if I'll get my visa, I don't know what's going to happen, but if I didn't go through with this, when the time came that I would be traveling, like that week that I, you know, planned to go, I would be sitting there with my thumb up my ass like, well, I missed out on an opportunity and now I have nothing to do but sit in my house. So I'm trying to like think of it that way. And I think thinking about it that way and also just trying to be like, well, I've done it before. Like I, you know, have been really anxious and I've traveled and I've, you know, done all this stuff and whatever. And I'm, you know, not like I survived, which by the way is a little bit of reassurance, but something that I'm not ready to cut out right now. I'm working on it. Thinking that way has gotten me to be like, yeah, you know what? I don't want to miss out. I feel like, my anxiety has robbed me of a lot of things, but I have been pretty adamant in like, I'm not gonna let it rob experiences like travel or like, you know, getting my degree or like things like that. Like, I'm like, no, I, I gotta do it. You know, other people do it, I can do it, there's no reason. But that's just my little bit of wisdom there. You wanna say hi? I was just having a little heart to heart with my subscribers. 
know. I don't have a shirt on. Though. That's okay. You can just peek in. They've seen you without a shirt when you were building your... All right. <laughs> I don't want to get demonetized. You can cut that out. <laughs> no, I'm leaving it. I really... I, that's okay. I was, that, was I was, art. that was art. They, yeah. can't, they can't demonetize you. Well, that. hopefully the, the glare of the light... <laughs> no, there was full nip in there. Damn. All right. Well, anyway. Yeah, no, I'm done saying what I was saying anyway. Um, but yeah, do what you gotta do. Okay, that's going on down there. Don't mind that, but anyway. Look, that's where we are without the tape. I don't think I showed them without any tape or anything on it. I don't remember. No, because you, had, you had just gotten it done. Right. So you have an appointment in two weeks for color, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, yes. dope. Dope.